up today guys how's everybody doing hope everybody's staying safe Brian here and today what are we fixing today well today we are actually fixing to build something my mother-in-law has purchased I'm gonna show you here much plants she got some straight a cucumbers Carolina gold tomatoes Beef steak tomatoes, California wonder peppers, some more uh, cucumbers, ooh, sweet banana peppers. I didn't know she got those. Some more beef steak tomatoes, them are the good ones. Better boy tomatoes, more cucumbers. It's like a variety. She got these from one of our local. Uh, local farmers it's not too far away from us and uh, I believe she got actually got all this plus the buckets plus you know uh, plastic buckets and three bags of topsoil for like 30 some bucks uh, which I thought was a heck of a deal but anyway amidst all this stuff going on we wanted to uh, or she wanted to start growing some fresh produce and because uh, I don't know around here going to the store it's scarce getting stuff so anyway what I'm doing I took a big 55 gallon plastic drum we had cut it in half the lid on this one was uh, removable and so what I did I cut the lid in half to put it on this end I screwed it on so it's on there now what I am doing, I went and picked up a load of two before's. Got a whole bunch right there. I picked up, uh, I got 14 in total, which I'm not gonna need, a, or 12 in total, I'm sorry. I needed, I have figured I needed 10 to build these. What these are gonna, what I'm building is a frame for these, and they're gonna be you know, three feet off the ground, so it's perfect for her. And then we fill these up with, uh, uh, topsoil and plant the plants in them and she's going to have her two nice raised planters so that's what we're going to do today we're going to work on those um, at least going to work on one together and go from there uh, probably won't video doing both of them but I'm going to try to video here doing one so I'm going to set you down here and so I can get started on this stuff alrighty Try to set it where you're, you get the best view possible. So hopefully you'll be able to see everything I'm doing here. I already made a mark on this pull out my cobalt battery operated so this little saw by the way is uh, I don't know about the new ones I got this back when we were putting our house in that was back in 2011 and I got a, a kit the wife got it for me it had uh, a regular drill an 18 volt, these are 18 volts by the way, lithium ion. Um, this is a 9 inch circular saw. It had a reciprocating saw. Um, the drill, and then it came with this light, which is really nice. Head rotates on it. We use this a lot when the power goes out. You can hook it to one of these 18 volt batteries and this thing will run. Well, we've had it on all night and it's still running the next morning. But uh, it is kind of big, but you know, like I said, for using it for that kind of situation or if you're working on something you need to get up underneath of it, you can set it down, you can bend it, try to angle it up, set it on the floor and it sits there perfect. I mean, just like on the battery. When it's on the battery, you know, it'll hold and you can turn the light wherever you need it. Working under countertops, anything like that. But it's a, it's a nice light. 
Nice combo kit. I think we ended up getting it on sale for like 300 some dollars. <laughs> there. Let's get started cutting and we'll try to get the frame knocked out for this first one. Hold your ears, it's gonna get a little loud. two lines marked. Now I'm building this the cheapest and easiest way that I can do it. My local hardware store when I went picked up these two before so I got treated and I got the 12 of them it was and a box of uh, screws. The box of screws was uh, $9.99 so total came to like $73 or something. So for around here, each two before was like $4.97 a piece for treated. Um, the only reason why I'm using treated, and I'll go ahead and put that out there right now, is because I'm using the these plastic barrels. The wood is not going to touch the topsoil. Um, you know, it's, it's not gonna be touching anywhere. If I was, if I was building a raised planter box out of strictly wood, then I would not use treated because the chemicals, you know, obviously the dirt in there and in the water, the chemicals could leach out of the wood into the dirt, in turn get into your plants, your food. You don't want to do that. Uh, if you want to build something totally out of wood, from what I've seen, red cedar, um, something like that's what you want to use or something non-treated but if you buy like non-treated two befores and use them they're not going to last a really long time now maybe if you polyurethane them or something um, or put some kind of a maybe line them with plastic staple plastic in so there's not too much water getting to the wood then they would probably last you last you a while but you would have to do something to kind of waterproof the wood but being these barrels, these are just going to be the outside of it and nothing, nothing's going to be touching. So that's why I'm using the treated stuff. I just wanted to put that out there for anybody that would watch this. And I'm trying, like I was saying, I'm trying to build this the cheapest and simplest way possible. So it's pretty much just going to be a frame around it, four legs, and then underneath, then I'll put two braces on each leg with a board running across the middle to support the bottom of the barrel and then the barrel I will screw the sides of the barrel into the frame so uh, this should be well enough supported that it'll hold what we're doing ears on These two cut before I do anything else. I gotta come up with measurements for my sides, but I'm gonna stick the barrel up here.
see what we got. So we're going to go 40 and a quarter. That's 40. So, let's say, yeah, that's barrels bowed out a little bit right there. So, I'm just going to go with 40 inches. <coughs> Excuse me. And call that done. And do it that way. Now, what I did measure on these end, these end boards here that I cut measure off of these ribs instead of off of the center or off of here I measured off of the ribs that stick out to get my width so when my outside boards will actually touch right against that when I screw them to the ends of these so that's why I did that all right Got a little bit of a bad section down here. I'm gonna measure off this end. Ooh, puts me right at that freaking knot, wouldn't you know it? Well, looks like I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna move it this way. guy there at the lumber store was like how straight do they have to be I said well I said they don't want anything with a twist in it anything with a twist a major warpage um, or bowed like a you know a bow <laughs> more or less and the guy was like well I said, let's just dig thumb and just pull out the straightest ones possible. So they don't have to be perfect, but I don't want the damn things twisted for sure because you ever try to build something out of a twisted piece of wood, it is a pain in the ass. And it sucks. Which, I'm wondering, a lot of these are still wet. They're heavy and wet. And I'm wondering what they're going to do when they dry out. But hopefully I get it. I get it all done, cut here and framed up and everything nice and decently level. You don't, it's not gonna have to be perfect. Um, hopefully when they dry up, it'll stay semi-straight. Cause I'm gonna use, um, I've got some two and a half inch screws and then I bought a box of three inch screws, a small box of three inch screws. So I'm gonna try the two and a halfs first and go with it that way. And see what those do. I'll probably use the three inch on the legs just to make it stronger. I need me some uh, saw horses is what I'd like to have. I'd like to have me something here where I can cut 
and uh, not have to worry about my piece of wood dropping off the end and breaking and all that good stuff. Might just try to raise it up here with these two pieces. And do it this way. I wanted to try to build me some extensions that I could take on and off of this bench and uh, that I could just slide in that would hold wood and I could set my uh, miter saw here. But I really like to buy me a new nice cobalt, at least a 10 inch miter saw and sliding compound miter saw at that with a nice stand and arms extend out so I can take out and use around the farm. That would be ideal. I like using my square to give me a guide. Not that it has to be perfectly straight, but I just the way I am, I like for my stuff to be as straight as possible. So that frame is done, so while I got this up here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut me a leg. I'm gonna do, what did I do? Oh, right in front of me. If it had been a snake, it a bit more I'm gonna go ahead and cut me a leg. Three foot, 36 inches. Now on this, I'm just going to go ahead and measure it an eighth or a sixteenth past, make my mark on that, and cut it right there. some sawdust. I just swept my floor up there yesterday too. These will be me some scraps to use for something else. Okay. So that is a leg. I'm going to lay it over here so. And I think I'm going to go ahead and cut me Go ahead and get my legs cut out so that way it's, they're cut out. And it's just a matter of screwing them on in.
three legs, only one more leg. This would be a scrap piece. Well, that kind of sucks, but you know. see it's got a chewed up place on it. I mean it'll work but I hate getting stuff like that. It does have just a slight bow to it and it's right down there at that chewed up place. So I won't make my leg out of this end of it. But the guy was nice. He did give me the option. I was like you yeah. know. He did ask me if it looked okay and I said yeah so my fault. Well, I say this had to be 36. pieces. This will be a start to the next one. So now we'll start doing a little bit of assembly. Grab my trusty Dewalt drill, 12 volt. This is a 12 volt lithium ion. This is not the brushless, this is the brushed. Uh, and if any, you, anybody watches this that's new and looking to buy stuff, you need know, to do whatever, uh, you can pick up a Black & Decker, a Porter Cable. Uh, Walmart even, even has another brand can't remember what it's called they've come out with if you don't want to get anything really expensive uh, the Porter cables um, Black & Decker's all those um, yeah they're pretty good I mean you need to definitely at least get something 12 volt and uh, I, I have a 20 volt in this same thing and it's got a lot of power um, I've got several i've got the impact driver 12 volt and i bought the new 3 8 um, 12 volt brushless this is the brushless extreme series subcompact um, oh my gosh impact wrench this working on vehicle stuff you can put sockets on the end of it but it's just a 12 volt and it actually does all right for a 12 volt. I would love to get the bigger version of it to do uh, lug nuts, like vehicle, uh, lug nuts on vehicles. And I plan to one of these days when my allows. But everything on a budget, you can do this on a budget and not have a lot of money. Uh, as far as picking up like a, you know, this, the saw I was talking about the cordless saw. You can pick you up a corded saw. You can get a Skill brand, Black & Decker brand, Cobalt brand. Um, if it's if you're going to make the investment in the tools and possibly use them for quite a few projects, I would go ahead and invest a little bit of money into your stuff. Get you a better drill. These, these are not 
uh, these 12 volts uh, this is a not like I said a non brushless motor and um, trying to think I think I got this one on sale come with the drill two batteries and a charger I think I got it on sale for like around 149 something like that which I had bought when I bought my house just give you a little backstory um, I went to Lowe's was buying stuff to do and I saw this 12 volt kit and this is a little compact drill you can see how my hand fits it it's really nice compact if you have a belt you put it on or a tool belt um, it's not that heavy to carry I used I bought it and it came actually with the drill driver you got these two charger and two batteries um, and I think back then I think I paid like $199 or maybe a little over $200 for that kit and I think you even got a free bat yeah you got a free battery when you bought it and uh, while we were putting our house in uh, I used that thing doing every I mean everything putting up my electrical box my outside box drilled the hole through my roof put a hole saw on it drilled the hole through the roof to run my conduit up through for my electrical um, up underneath used uh, self metal tap screws and hung up my plumbing used metal straps and self-tapping screws used it to drill that I mean do all that stuff I mean this this has been one of the best little tools like I said this is a newer one my wife actually has the other one and she uses it um, at the barn quite a bit but uh, I just this one was on sale and she had that one actually I had bought that 20 volt and the head of it came off I mean you could pull it off okay yeah that doesn't give Dewalt a bad name it just happened to be the little clip in there I guess when it got put in from the factory wasn't put on right and the clip wasn't holding it and you, you could pull it off I took it down to the uh, uh, Dewalt warranty to the uh, place where they do warranty repairs showed him he looked at it and he was like yep I can fix that he said I see what the problem is and they fixed it back yes got it back to him no problem no cost uh, so no hassle and that's what that's what makes it nice buying something that if you do have a problem with it you can get it warranty unless you just like buy what I call a throwaway drill one of them cheap black and deckers or whatever uh, you buy one of them use it a few times and if it breaks you just throw it away and go buy another one you can do that if you want but uh, just just little thoughts there if you're in the market to do something like this and looking for you know something to uh, something to use I mean you can use it for a lot of other things too not just uh, not just building stuff I mean you can use it for repairing and everything else a little 12 volt volt and I've got it on two I can put it on one I've got it on two so drill a little faster and it'll sink them down there too
and you can see got this end lined up this ends out almost an inch and that's just showing just probably this piece of wood right here has got a little bit of a bow in it so when I go to drill this I'm going to pull this over actually I don't know if my clamp, wood clamp appears long enough let's see Be just short. But I'm going to go ahead and get this end in here. Get this end secured. started here make it a little easier see about putting the drum in here and uh, temporarily attach it with some screws because I'm actually going to run the screws from inside instead of outside in but we'll put it down in here and uh, temporarily attach it so that way when I put my legs on and I flip it over it's not going to just want to slide out the bottom on me and then I can get my lower brace on See if it fits, moment of truth. She's in there. I actually didn't have to go as wide as what I measuring that piece out. I actually didn't have to do that. I still got room on either side but I plan on running um, probably using a small lag bolt with washers and uh, I, I really don't need to it'd probably be overkill to do that but I'll just put regular screws in but anyway it'll just pull the plastic out and I thought if I use a small lag bolt with a washer on it pull them out I don't have to worry about anything ripping out or or doing anything like that, which I still might do, but we're just going to temporarily secure it in here with a screw. Pretty much got where I want. lid has a recessed end on it. That screw is barely going to reach. So I'm going to grab a longer. I have 
take my long sleeve shirt off get a little warm in here Yeah, so legs are going to go on pretty much just like that. We'll screw them in there and I'll put several screws in it. Yeah, open this door. Oh, how long will it stay open? Grab me a drink real quick. Get a little parched. What do I do with my box of screws? They're over here. You got them over here. Turn you just a little bit. Yeah, I've got so many projects around here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use three inch. I'm going to get that box of three inch screws. And I'm going to use those for the legs just so I get more bite. Be right back. Forgot to grab my other truck. Had a visit from the goats and the wife. Yeah, these screws here, in case you would want to know, these are just a number nine by three inch exterior screws. They do use a star bit and they are, they do have the little drill, what I call like a drill type tip on them, which they'll start themselves. These are really nice screws to use, easy to start. And then I'm using uh, the two inch, two and a half inch. I think the goats are wanting to come inside with me. I got all kinds of little projects to fix. I got uh, mower deck on the tractor now as two bolts come out of it. I've got to fix that. I'm 
trying to get this done for her so she can get to get our plants to grow in there. Her plants, like our plants, for all of us. But it will be nice to have our own fresh tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers. So I am more than happy to do this, do this deal here, that's for sure. Plus I like building stuff. center of that board. Yeah. I like putting a lot of them in at the legs. Yeah. Kind of overbuild it. You know what I mean? Stick one more in her. Call it good. There we go. Be nice and tight. And then I'll have a piece running across here with a two before sitting right underneath. This will be rest the this one's flipped over will be resting on that two before so that's going to support it plus the board to put across that's two legs or uh, two uh, cross braces to help keep these from moving. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move you. I'll walk you around here so far. You can see the frame really good so far. And I basically I put five screws in it. Over here I think I put six. I put six because this one I put in, I think I hit right in the crease or the joint of this board and the outside board so i just went ahead and put an extra one in it's it's good and sturdy that's what it'll be and then to give you an idea of what i was talking about here board will be like this and a board running across to here and the drum will be actually sitting on that board so that'll support the bottom of it oh no I'm 
give them a try. Sitting here right here. say now if you guys enjoy I have other videos on, on uh, it's going through working on my 2007 Arctic Cat uh, my channel basically is fixing things and having fun um, I plan on doing a little riding video with foiler since I've gotten it done uh, riding back up on top of hill back in the woods back here and messing around and uh, I've got a few other things planned on building for it. Little uh, light bar bracket and uh, putting a little small light bar on it, and maybe some other um, other things for it. But uh, other little projects like this, I'm sure I'm going to have other stuff. I do. My goal this year was to get a new deck built on the front of the house, just an eight by eight, something small, not very expensive. And then this summer, that I was planning to do that here this spring. Um, and then around in July-ish, end of July, I was planning on trying to get a mudroom built off the back of the house. Um, with everything that's going on now, financially wise, don't know. I mean, I'm still getting paid for my job, but other financial things we don't know what's going to happen yet so I guess that stuff's going to kind of be put on hold at least right now I, I, I'm hoping something changes by around July to where I can at least get the front deck built on the house because it needs it bad it needs it bad back deck we don't really even use it uh, I never did get to finish it that's why we were wanting to build a mud room and uh, so yeah we're just going to take it and go from there but if you enjoy my stuff you know, please like comment subscribe um, the last video I just posted uh, I put my email address in there I hadn't done that before uh, which I think it might have on YouTube had my had my gmail uh, email address but I went ahead and included my email. If you have any questions, comments, uh, any ideas, anything that if you see I'm doing wrong, I could do better at or whatever, shoot me an email. I don't care. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll listen to any ideas. You know, criticism, good or bad. Uh, all I ask is be respectful. Because if you're not respectful, by God, I'm not gonna be respectful to you. I can tell you that much. So. But with that being said, let's get this sucker finished so we can call one and done because then I'm going to have another one i got to get. At least get one done. She can go ahead and get started planting. I need to slide it apart this way. I don't want to, but I need to.
shoe. I was afraid of that. Sucker split on me. I ain't ran in there too deep. I'll show you how I'm going to fix this. I'm going to take another screw and I'm going to run it through the side to pull this board back in. Now if I have to, I'll take some kind of piece of strap or something and uh, strap it up that way. Just hope that usually these that drill, they don't split the board, but this board is extremely wet. Yeah, it didn't want to do much there. So probably what I'm going to end up doing is putting something across the top. Uh, or maybe a metal strap over it. Screw it on down on this side once it dries a little more. And uh, put a little metal strap just to help hold that together. So it don't end up, because it is going to split on me right on my screw line. That's the only bad thing. So I'm gonna put one. I'm gonna put one here. Not running in as deep. Now I'm gonna put one to the inside here. Yeah, I know it ain't the purtiest, and I got a bunch of screws in it, but I hate it when that wood splits out like that. I still like to go ahead and look down. If you look down your wood, you can see if there's any bows, you know, bowing out either direction. And then if you look down the side of your wood, move your head over your eye over to the side and look down the side, you can find what they call the crown of the wood. And you'll see it might concave or be convex. And what you want is you always want that crown, they call it, up. Which, being in this little short piece here, It's not gonna really matter because of the way I'm standing it. I was just trying to give you an example. Like right here, this is the crown is up. The wood is actually bowed up here. If I turn it over, and you, know, you can't really see it, it's bowed down. that uh, you could actually attach like you would screw it into here and it would have an L that would butt up against that and then you could run two screws in that they make little flat pieces of steel with holes in them that you could uh, or it's like a tin that you could uh, lay right here on the side like I think they call it strapping different kind of strapping and stuff but you could lay it here uh, and then you know it's got holes you can put screws in it and make it more uh, stable that way. Well. Now this piece of wood is dry. here for is where I put my screws in on this sideboard is I'm running these screws in between them making sure that I'm not going to hit them or blow the wood out or anything
right, I'm gonna put one more in it and call her done. There we go, that's getting started. Those are getting sturdy. It's not gonna be moved around a lot or anything, so as long as it's gonna stay stationary, you should be fine. I found my tape measure. Screws off of it. Now I'm going to measure across here. Let brace. 27 and 3 quarters. Now you tell me why. Now I've got this thing the same width, but it could be these legs are bowed in. Measuring across right here on this one, it's 27 and 3 quarter from outside to outside. I'll come over here to this one, measure from outside to outside is 25 and 7 eighths. So that's what two inch difference man that's a big difference now this I said it was 25 and 7 8 and of course up here it's showing narrower almost like so one of these is actually bowed in really bad I got it spread apart there a little bit, it moved. Now I got it to 26 and a half. And here on this one, I'm showing 27 and 7 eighths. Man, how in the world? Did I put the wrong board in down there? 24 and a half. You know what I did? Right there it is. <laughs> I screwed up. I screwed up, but it's not going to matter. Like I said, this don't have to be perfect. But what I did was my board that I had cut, the boards that I had cut here were 22 and 7 eighths. And when I was doing all that cutting and moving around, this I grabbed this board, which was 24 inches. And here is my other 22 and 7 eighths. <laughs> so... I'm a little wider. Oh well, it's not gonna make any difference. It's not. Uh, it's not like I'm having to meet somebody else's criteria. This is my design, my build. It's gonna work. It'll work. I guess one good thing is I got one longboard here. Yeah, it would work. It's long. I got long enough. I could get screws in it. But I bet it'll really fit on this side. Yeah, it fits all right on this side. I have more to screw to. Probably just end up using it over here. And that one there definitely won't. Well, that would fit in between if I wanted to try to put it in between, but trying to toenail that would be a pain in the butt. So I'm just gonna cut to. I'm just gonna cut to and be done with it. Which I am going to put just for poops and giggles here. Let me just move this a little bit. 
Lead level. That's level. That's good. Way. Boom, right there, level. Alright. I'm gonna roll with it like that. Hey, nobody will know but you and me, so just don't say nothing. Twenty-seven and three quarters. Twenty-seven and three quarters. And then this one's gonna be. I'm gonna say this one's gonna be. We'll make that one 26. And then I'll have to cut my centerpiece and we'll be done. Make some noise. Watch your ears. myself an idea because the tank is already sitting here where it needs to be. Turn you a little bit here. I've already got the tank where I want it. So I'm going to set this board here. Move this one up just to pretty much And I'm just going to make a mark where I need to be. Don't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just want this board sitting down on here. So right there is where I'm going to make my mark. Whoops. I moved it on me. So it kind of give me a rough, rough guess. Huh? All 
I am going to go ahead and start my screw in here though. Now what I can do, I can find my small ones, I have some clamps. Small woodworking clamps. These are Harbor Freight Specials. Cheapies, nothing expensive. You can go to Harbor Freight and get one. What I'll do is I'll clamp this side on. Try to anyway. Try to get this close. Kind of hard to do one handed. Pay no attention, was it? Uh, we'll get it here close, and then probably what I'll do is just tap it. Don't want to fight me a little bit. Gotta move this clamp up. There. So I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna. Of course, could have just took some measurements or built, measured these two. Went ahead and built my T. That would have been the easiest thing to do. But just assembled the T and then just dropped it down in here and screwed but sometimes you know how it is you don't think you don't think about it you just start doing stuff and and actually that's what I thought about doing earlier to be honest with you I think my drills starting to get run down when you run it on the higher uh, speed you don't get as many, uh, not able to get as many screws in it. more screws in on that side and we'll call her good why is that thing off how did I do that you know what I do not like it at all I am way the hell off this thing is running downhill so bad I mean I don't guess it really matters, but 
it does me. Drop that down in one. You can hear the difference. Yeah, I don't know how I even got off that far. I do not know how I got off that far. Because right there, about right there is actually level so you can see I was way off on this side over here this side here was actually good where it needed to be it's just that side over here needs to come down well for this to be right I mean like I said it don't matter as long as this thing has got support but you know Probably what I'm going to do. You just get it level here enough. Eyeball. And uh, later I'm just going to go ahead and drop this down. Put one screw in it. And uh, do the other side. I think that's what I'm going to do. she should actually be. To be level with that thing. We got that fixed. So I'm going to do a little measuring here just to see. Seven and a half inches. I'm gonna try that. 
We'll try that. We'll try to put me a mark here. At not a hard hold tape measure. And I'm not good left handed. Seven and a half. Get in here. Seven and a half. That's going to be rough. Use my speed square, just make me a line. There we go. I need to get warm in here. Try not to open anything up because the wind is blowing so bad outside that. Uh, I know it'll totally mess with everything. I've had the door open and the wind just blows it shut. Of course, I closed it because the goats come down and want to come in for a visit. I'm going to go ahead and stick my new battery in here, put this one back on charge. I think I'd actually want to use that one several times and hadn't charged it back up yet. Like I said, I'm probably doing a little bit of overkill on the screws in this thing. Because there'll be a little bit of weight, but it's not going to be that much. But, I like to build things to last, too. I don't want it to end up falling apart. I like for it to last, you know, if it lasts a good five years. That'd be great. Might not last that long. But if it would last that long, that would be great. I'm just going to do three per leg on this one. Call her done. Well, I still got one more board to cut, but I'm waiting till I get this up to get me an accurate measurement. Uh, try to get this thing here where it needs to be straight. Line, there's that line. Right there. try to turn this unit to make it easier to get into it. I didn't think I'd need a hammer on this job, but just goes to show you never knew. And we'll get this one here. That's on that one.
Man, I got you all turned around the right way. I'm sure you can still see some, but... Six and three quarters. So thirty-six and three quarters. What we got to cut? Spin this round here. So. Making a mess. Making a mess. decently dry. It's not all the way dry, but it's close. But it is a good straight board, that's for sure. Alright, we're going to go what did I say? 36 and 3 quarters. What was the old saying? Measure once, cut twice. Or no, measure twice, cut once. Right? No, I'm just messing with you. My daddy taught me that a long time ago. And sometimes I still need a lesson. 36 and three quarters. That's what we're going with. Six and three quarter. And I went just a hair over, sixteenth over, and make my cut on that line so that way it should come out right. Be a nice snug fit. All right, where's my saw? I'm going to go ahead and just put me two, three inches in this and call it done. That'll be all it needs. That barrel is a little uh, where I put the screws in the lid up at the top. I've got it pulled in a little bit. 
So what I do when I go to screw this end in, I'm gonna put it down on the floor and actually put pressure down on it so it expands that barrel back out and then screw it in place because that way it'll push the barrel, the sides out to where I need them to be to screw them in. I just wanna rough eyeball this and have this roughly in the center. That looks good right there. down on that myself enough to run a screw in it or not without actually being up and getting up on it I put my screw at a little bit of an angle. There we go. Whoops. You're on my tape measure. try to get her flipped around here well everything is done except for me doing the final um, screwing the drum to the frame from the inside like I was talking about but other than that the frame of it is done it's kind of a DIY garden planter a little bit heavy not too bad It'd be nice to have a second set of hands here try to get it set down here so I can show you all. Let me grab you here. And there we go. There's what she looks like. Now I could make it real nice and fancy. I might end up, I might end up maybe putting another brace across down here. Or I might say screw it and put her a little, hmm. I might put a brace across there and across there and maybe find a, uh, see if we got a little piece of treated plywood or something. Or maybe some two baits. I think we had some treated two baits somewhere. And maybe make her just a little small shelf to lay uh, like one of the little sp uh, spades, garden spades and stuff like that on. But uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's sturdy. I mean, I'm, I'll get my fat butt. My fat butt's up on now. It ain't going nowhere. I mean, that's that topsoil is not real heavy we'll probably put a little bit of regular dirt around here it's red clay so it's not really that good but yeah we'll uh yeah man we'll get this fixed up nice i'll get the 
I'll put, probably go ahead and put my little wag screws like I was talking about there. One there, one there, over here and over here. And then just maybe put some regular screws in this end of it. And, uh, yeah, call her done. I mean, like I said, it's not going to go anywhere with that other board. With that board underneath there, it's not going to go anywhere. I'm sorry I don't have a lot of room to get you all the way around. I'm just kind of showing you. But yeah, you can put some more supports across there. And like I said, I might go back and do that if I have enough 2 or 4s left. I got a couple 2 or 4s for here in the building for my lights I have to do up in the... Get them fixed so I can get my garage door up. But uh, that's it. That's it, guys. Little DIY raised flower bed. Uh, raised... You know, produce in, whatever you want. Raise your own produce. But anyway, I appreciate you hanging with me today. Uh, if this helps you out, great. I'm glad. I love doing this stuff. And, you know, if it helps one person out, uh, that's great. But uh, I am a little parched, a little hot. And I don't know if it is or not, but I got one left. So I'm going to enjoy it. So with that being said, you guys take care, stay safe, and uh, remember, go fix something, build something, uh, do something productive. Just get out and do something. During all this madness, don't just sit in the house. You can get outside. Just, you know, stay away from your neighbors, 10 feet, whatever. Have a beer, go over and stand at the fence and have a beer with them, whatever. But, uh, yeah, get outside and do something. This is something simple. I went to the hardware store. My hardware store, you walked up to the front door, and they actually had a big piece of plexiglass hanging there and a little desk. You couldn't go in the store. You told them what you needed, which I kind of didn't like that because the screws I wanted, particular screws that I wanted, I was afraid I wasn't going to get them. Well, they actually gave me what I wanted. And uh, I wanted to look for some other wood because I have some other little projects I want to build inside of here. Uh, or build to hang in my building to for some stuff. I'm not going to give it away yet, but it's already been done. I've seen it done. I'm just going to build my own. But anyway, yeah, go do something. Stay productive. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Love you. Stay good. Stay healthy. And uh, yeah, that's all. That's all I got to say. See y'all.